Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this fringed bag. And this one is worked the same as the other Granville bag, but it's smaller. And this one is worked in the round. So let's get started. To make this handbag, I'm working with two strands of worsted weight yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 18. To make a chain, simply pick up the yarn and pull it through the loop. Now chain 18. Okay, I chained 18. Now I'm going to double crochet, so yarn around the hook, and in the fourth stitch from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet. So insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn and pull it through two loops. And I'm going to put a stitch marker at the top of that chain. So now I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row and you should have 16 double crochet and this chain at the beginning counts as one double crochet. So 16 double crochet. And now I'm going to turn and I'm going to start working down this side of the chain. So I'm just going to turn my work, make a double crochet in that same stitch as the last one so that I turn the corner like that and one double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I worked all the way down this other side. So I have 16 stitches on this side, 16 stitches on that side for a total of 32. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join in that marked stitch. Remove the marker, chain two, one, two. Double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. Now I'm going to make a front post double crochet in the next stitch. So to make a front post, yarn around the hook, the same as for a regular double crochet. Come from the front around the post of the double crochet and then complete the double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn around the hook from the front around the post and complete the double crochet. So working all the way around and before I go any further I'm going to mark that top of that stitch. Now I'm going to work all the way around and every fourth stitch is going to be a front post. So it'll be double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, front post, double crochet. You're going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and my last stitch was a front post double crochet and then I'm going to come over to that marked stitch and slip stitch to join. Remove the marker. Chain two, one, two. Now you can put the marker back in. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Every row will now be exactly the same. So it will be chain two, double crochet in two stitches, front post double crochet in the next, and then double crochet in three, and then front post double crochet in the next. And you continue to work that around and around until your purse is as tall as you would like it to be. the flower I used one strand of worsted weight yarn and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. I started with a slip knot. I chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. 
Now chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet in the ring. And that's your first petal. Now you're going to do that as many times as you like. I did 15 times. So chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet in the ring. And you'll continue to do that. And for this one, I did 15 times. And then sew a button in the center. And then you can sew this onto the front of your bag. To make the fringe, I wrapped my yarn around a notebook and then just cut along the bottom and I folded two in half to make each section of fringe so that makes four strands and take the fold and then along the bottom of your bag find a stitch, pull that folded end through and then pull the ends through the loop and you'll do that all the way across the bottom of your purse to attach the handles with a needle in the same yarn, I simply sew it over and over to attach the handle. And there you have another easy bag that you can crochet. You can make it with the fringe or without. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.